I'm Shell Browder. I'm standing at the site of the first blacksmith shop in James Fort, and I'm preparing to make some caltrops. It was, in, perhaps in more modern terms, an anti-personnel device that no matter how it lands is point up, so it will go into the feet of horses or human beings who are advancing on a fixed position. They're made, I'm fairly certain, from one piece of metal by drawing a blunt point on two ends of a short piece and then splitting it and twisting it. The interesting problem was finding out how to twist them so that there's a point up all the time. Of course, like many things, it turned out to be much uh, more straightforward than I thought it would be just looking at them. I'm starting with a bar of metal. In this case, it's just a quarter of an inch wide and a thick and three quarters of an inch wide. It goes into a charcoal fire, which was a common blacksmith's fuel for a long time. The, with the addition of air from the bellows, compressed air, the fire will burn upwards of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is well above the melting or the burning point of iron. So it doesn't take a very long time to get a good heat. The point's already been drawn on this, and I've started to split while it was still just hot enough to mark it. So the next step will be to split one end, and if I still have enough heat, to cut it off of the bar. Um, I'm using a tool known as a hot cut or a hot chisel, and I'll just cut it right through. just to start the split opening up some. It's not terribly hot, but it's hot enough to cut off. I have a lot of questions about the sequence of making these things. I would need to make a couple of hundred before I really understood it. Which is true for most iron things. As soon as you have to go into real production, you begin to understand how to do that efficiently. A caltrop. A what? A caltrop is an anti-personnel device or an anti-horse device for cavalry or foot soldiers, either one. Just uh, what, how, how do you use them? You throw it on the ground and a point is always up. Gotcha. Okay. And if a horse steps on it, it goes right into the frog and he's crippled immediately. Or if a person steps on it, it goes through your shoe sole and into your foot and you're crippled immediately. And in those days, it meant there was a good chance of your dying. 